if you just have wave clear into a specter with no pressure behind it, that you're just giving that specter farm under his specter. But they have seen Pumpkin playing Earthshaker, a hero that we haven't seen in for a long time. This can create some big, big thing in here. Might be the first lot because Pumpkin is coming in ready for his Earthshaker. Oh no, dropping a pizza already. Time to go back to the tower. Standing Nereus. It's actually Nereus. And it's going to be the first lot by the fourth. So for King Gaming, even though they give up the first blood, it looks like all three lanes should be pretty good for them. Visage does not lane very well against the Viper. Up here in the middle, very nice using the Visage in order to block the way for team, uh, for Chai to go back to the higher ground. The courier is on the higher ground and about to send him some items. He's gonna be fine on that. He's gonna miss some experience and last hits though in the middle lane. And the bottom lane once again, it seems like Keen Gaming just put a lot of pressures on that edge. He's trying to go into the tree line, jumping on him. One hit away and boy, got him. Tower Judy. CS, he's actually not last hitting all too terribly. So as long as he's getting some CS here, he can hit level six and then start catching up by getting kills using his ultimate. Split third once again, it's just gonna connect that uh, dropping so low once again for that ace, and that's gonna be an easy kill for Team Keen. Is that the weakness of unlike um Secret that have Puppy is here and there all the time. Yes, Puppy is moving all around all these lanes. He's been top, mid, bottom, now back to mid. This is likely a kill. The birds are there. Oh my, Speed Third on himself in order to stop the invade of Team Secret. Uh, dropping quite low for mid one. Poison attack already. And here comes the Echo Storm. Just one hit. Uh, they've already got me. Passing that one. His Rubik was stealing, playing better Sand King than the Sand King, but. Yeah. Playing a Crystal Maiden now. It's not it quite as flashy, but he's been playing this, I think, his third game now. That game, oh wait, a Doom on that Razor once again and trying to retreat back to the tower was hit by the Fisher too and Doom just trying to dive in now tower shooting on that Doom dropping low on that Latrak, he's trying to stay alive, there's only one hit away but uh, still cannot find a kill, now he comes back uh, trying to drop a spell but he's getting kite right there but uh, died without killing, oh my, how he, how he got away on that, that Latrak meanwhile the bottom lane they are doing much better on diving and he's a solo kill on the bottom lane yeah. by the Fisher's boy mate He's got 49 CS and 22 denies. They, it, right now, King Gaming are stomping the lanes in terms of last hits and kills. This is so rare oh. to see Team Secret losing early game because when, when it comes yeah. to a landing skills, they are very, very strong. And right now, mid one in big trouble in the middle lane. Poison attack, and that's oh, going to be a nice game for Chai. But Chai was brought, brought down by the Gargoyle. Farm. Genking just doesn't seem as effective as, you know, getting a farm advantage in these lanes. So you may be able to, you know, Threatened to get a kill here or there, but Secret won't even get killed. Yeah, That's it, only their second kill. It wasn't support we expect. We expect to see something like a Rubik Bounty Hunter Barothrum coming out from Team Secret to play, you know, a, a little bit more um, fight oriented. But we having an uh, Earth Shaker and a Crystal Mine, and it's more like a counter gang oriented one. Yeah. Bottom my Ace needs to be very careful. He hasn't got his Vanguard yet. Oh, top lane, brought by RD. Oh, the first time using Han, it's just gonna come in for a last hit, and that might be the first kill of Ace. The one three already. He finished off that racer on me. <laughs> because Vanguard this game Reeves. is so tough, man. Yeah, really. It's, it's definitely a build that can work. Bottom lane, they're looking to Doom. The Razor yeah, here. Yeah, so a Doom, and then coming out of Frostbite, and hot and cold, you up and you're low. No! And then she's there, that mute that can't do anything. No. He's. Just gone. If there's any slow and set up there, and Fata had the clap from the Hellbear. Nice block in the middle. The Fisher in order to block the way. Can Viper get away? Not I don't think so, but oh, suddenly a wild clone of fear happens. However, they lose the Viper, but look at that Dark coming in. He might get a double kill on mid one. Mid one going bad. to the tree line, and ready to shoot the soul at some time with three charges. But no, oh, coming in once again for that Latrak. Just go all in for that. I believe they can give a double kill to that um, dog. But he also sacrificed himself. He about to get caught, uh, dropping of his turn. But no frostbite. Follow. Echo stop. Violation over stun, but you know it's working out. I definitely cannot question his play. Even if I, I think it's a totally new, bizarre skill build coming out, I'd like to see him go more carry, but that's what the Shadow Blade gives him. Doom coming back in the bottom lane and the kill oh, just man. like that. Gap saw just walk. Makes a lot of sense. Yuna. Yuna actually, normally Yuna always go for Sand King stuff. But now, oh yeah, Yuna about to drop the hoops on, but you were stopped by the Frostbite first. However, Viper decided to go in. Earth Spitter just gonna kill. Mid one gone, and now they lost that uh, try as well. Gargoyle shooting on the Yuna. Gargoyle got Yuna. 9 to 9 game to go right now. But uh, your damage output and your ability to fight like one on one against a right clicking carry is not always that great. It always kind of 
Like, you know, you rely a lot more on your dispersion. Yep, so I'll try to be oh, more. Ace is out for the here. That's my high, the mid tier one tower. Ace is gonna get away with it. He's on the high ground now. Doesn't have a horn, so they might have to let go the tower. Dark is on the tower, along with the trap. Now coming from behind, and a doom on that Viper. He's just gonna stand. He, he should be fine because of the Corsair skin flying away for that Viper. Infernal Blade once again. Butta! Butta slashed him all off, and Ace is beneath all that KT. Ooh, two down. He, he's on the way to a Blight Mill. Yeah. He's very hey, hey, look at that, look at that. Dark. Kill him. With no, with no call of fear. It's a bad is enough. I'm bad loss, bro. Now here you go. Echo Storm Plasma feels all the stuff. If he has standing, it would be a great idea. Killing spree streak ended and definitely a really unconventional first pick by Team Keen Gaming going with this guy. Oh, Coral Fear comes out already. It's gonna be a doom. Follow up with a third spitter. Doom gone, real pick. So no doom in this team fight. It's time to go in. Horn finally. And he's just gonna horn here, horn there, horn everywhere for the Spectre. Keep on slashing, but he doesn't have enough damage. He died because of the storm. You can't And a mango. Into Roshan, but Leshrak knows he's nearby with a stun, ready to go. Dropping half HP is already in now first Except from for the, the Earth Victor, everything just hit Echo Storm as well, but jumping out and just trying to get rid of the small first. So the trap gone, and Jian gone. Where's the race of team? Uh, Jian bought back and ready to go for round two. This is very Where low. Where is the initiator? I'm looking at, at the faces for He doesn't have a Chronosphere, so they might have to let go on the Roshan. It seems like Secret being lured out of the Roshan pin and jumping out to fight uh, on the higher ground. Secret fighting. Are they have any visions? No visions, but they still managed to get rid of the Juna. Now look Look at the Reaper! Three heroes of Team Keen Gaming coming in with doubling Edict! That is a buyback on the track right there! Trying to crawl back to a higher ground for that Asia! He's gonna be fine, staying behind the hill! And just throw some bling daggers out on a Doom, a Viper, and a Bunny! Oh. How long away the Chrono Fear comes in order to kill them all! Everyone's just gonna buy back right there! Out one kill for mid one! And that might be the first rampage for mid one though! Still keep on chasing Garkoy, shooting everyone dark! Is that gonna be the first rampage of this tournament? Mid one on a rampage! And Ace right now being chased by the Yuna! Might be a double rampage on this one! Gaps are behind! Nope! But uh, finally, it's Viper who's stuck in the middle. Team fight, the mid one is coming back to this so assumption with a Gargoyle as well. That is another Yapsa kill, but it seems like it's gonna be a series of mistakes made by the Keen Gaming. Oh okay. god. Mid one now, level 15, has the double soul assumption hit. I like in a game where there's all this fighting going on, you definitely want the soul assumption. Oh, jumping in Going and trying bottom. to catch the support once again. Infernal Blade in order to do some mini stun and finish off by that. The um, Spectre and Fada got the. But looks like Secret know what's going on and back off. Puppy gets hit though. Oh, Bubba the drummer on it! The drummer is right here. Oh, throwing the deck of birds and now they get rid of that. Oh, the trap! Key as possible because Spectre is so ready for any fight. Uh, creating chaos is the key of Spectre in team fight. Now Puppy is seeing the targets already, but unfortunately that feature cannot block. We're on Yuna. Is he gonna a soul fight? Oh, oh it's a long no. TP. A very nice stun coming out from mid one and finishing him with a at assumption. It's unstoppable already for mid one. Yeah. Not sure he would have made out anyways, but TPing to the same tower as a teammate man. Like watching uh, his clock, like his watch, like, oh uh, man, six, five, four, come like, on, what man. You know, just TP down, like the first guy. There you go. Oh, getting blocked once again. Uh, on point this one for Urtaker Fitcher, trying to spit out on himself in order to stop Father from attacking, but it's just not gonna help. This void. On his next item is a Black King Bomb. Not sure is that gonna make a big impact. On Can they one. kill Ace at mid? He's alone. Can he? With some teammates helping, can probably he? can. Oh, a bass already! And here comes the increasing uh, duration, the decreased cooldown, the team up with the Earth Spectre. That's he's gonna out be it. Where he's is bottom. he? Where is he? He's gone. He's right here with his teammate with an assist. Lestrack wants this kill though. Oh, Lestrack! That's a big kill of Lestrack! Uh, the electric horse got a lot of experience of kill. Be mid one, that is a very high bounty here yeah. over there. But mid one is so hard to kill. And. And maybe a Chronosphere, Chronosphere follow up with all the teammates of Team Keen Gaming just going one on that mid one, dropping low already, they got the mid one, 7 kill streak and then it's time to go for more, Fata jumping in with the Black King Bar, but he was sucked out by that static link, however, the track always goes down in the team fight, when oh, the attacker Echo Slam comes out, what a base play to fight for Team Secret, it was a small area, and he just smacked it down for that attacker, now the race of Team Keen Gaming dropping quite low, Yuna strike back, with the Earth Splitter! Oh, oh my god, what a crazy team fighter! I thought it's gonna be an awesome fight for Team Secret, but Yuna refused it!
Ooh, oh, for secret. They game. smoked up. They want to initiate with the Doom. Maybe they Gem wanna... on Fata. Attack on a sideways. This might be... They want to Doom the Void, but it goes on the right Viper instead. Viper first, but Viper's going to be fine upon the Black King Bar. Last now, Phil trying to sow the race of Team Secret. He's now, they to save that Viper. Viper just going to pan back full HP, full mana. But however, Secret finish off the Elder Titan. So no more AOE, Ultimate. And here we go, Chrono Fear. Blue Dome comes out, dropping quite low for Spectre. If they can get rid of Spectre, then it's going to be much easier for Team. Finally, an Echo Slam comes out. And dropping so low, they get rid of the Electric Horse. But the FHP also goes down too. Viper looking very strong. He got around 80% HP and spamming the poison attack on that V-Set. But v -set got the way. Just hit him with like an Infernal Blade, but in the end, it was, secret. Whew. It was a one-man crawl of fear though, but it just worked it anyway. It kills the carry though, yeah, the Spectre. The, yeah. the Spectre is actually the hardest one to deal with. Now look at the bomb lane and that's going to be another puppy falls out by that mid. And they are getting kill after kill here. Void back alive. He wants his BKB because this Orchid Proving to be pretty troublesome. A nullifier to go with it. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, in deep blood. promo, if he kind of stuck in an echo storm, then it's gonna follow up with a split turn and earth splitter. Split earth, earth splitter. Oh, everything split, and that's gonna be the ace who split that. Wow. Cracked open. The Viper <laughs> with the break, the nether toxin. This. He just melted. He may have to buy. If he buys back, though, Secret could take this fight. The problem is there's still a Chronosphere. Dark is ready to go. Jumping in with the Chrono Beyond, too. And locked down the v and the Blue Dome. And spell on the spell. v and the core hero goes down. And he's just going to run back. Maybe it's time to aim for the tower. Tower, the three tower shooting on him. Dropping quite low. So the Elder Titan is standing in for taking damage for his teammate. A Doom on the Razor to clean them all off. It seems like Team Secret is going to hold a high ground. With the Echo Slam comes out. A double kill for Japs on the Razor team. Heat Gaming just retreated. Oh, that's the buyback from. They didn't. They, they even asked for the staff to change the the language of the window into a Chinese. Tier three tower pop goes down. He's just gonna dump in, maybe happy. They, they may go for the racks here. There's no buyback on Viper or the track. This My is not looking good for King. With the infernal blade and uh, popping his the um, she was guards already going for the barracks. Uh, it look, looks like that oh extent team fight is my cause in the bar. Oh, got the blade mail on the already and somebody buy back it's gonna be a racer and uh, Spectre is on to slow that down and Spectre might have to retreat he's dropping so fast he's Spectre it's a dieback though I think oh no no buyback for Ace already uh, Spectre Spectre in order to stop nope not gonna make it oh luckily that's up the sentry ward before and that is just gonna go straight for the tower, but none of the secret just gonna go oh already destroy the water from the black king by in order just to get rid of the bomb tier one tower. Now they started to attack on that father. Father also fought the black king by in back order off to here. walk back. <laughs> Spectre's about Ooh. Jumping Jumping in ten, se ten seconds away. They, well, they might not scout it though. Oh, they're gonna catch mid one. They see mid one walking. I'm not sure why is he doing. Maybe. Oh, sorry. They're gonna stop in there. Might win. Go no, Spectre dying down though. Down so fast and Spectre just hot down. It was just gonna be KB just following the blacking bar, but Spectre still taking a lot of damage from Team King Gaming. And then here comes the AOE super strong spell with the Echo Slam. But once he dropped it, he dropped out. Now in the middle is actually a Viper. Whoever can buy back, just buy back and come in. And help Viper finally goes down, and Zero in the end, backs. it's Keen Gaming. Oh, gone. they got so excited! The guy who has the ages to attack the tower, the Radiance Aura is very important. Jumping in, Chrono Fear on two. They catch the core hero, which is V Sage, and also the Earth Checker. But however, Spectre is inside trying to zone Team Keen Gaming back. Sparta already get rid of the uh, li uh, that the track. Now let's take a look at the fight in the front. Dark goes down without buyback. That might be it for this one. Yeah. They're definitely going to lose at least one set of barracks. They're just not having buybacks in this late game is really being punished here. A secret bought back in the last team fight to make sure they win it. And now they get Roshan, Aegis, Cheese, Refresher. They just charge forward. Doom has the Refresher shot if he needs it, but he doesn't even need it right now. Oh man, just it's a small mistake made by Team Keen Gaming once and again. Yeah, that they got so far, like not so far ahead, like they slightly ahead in the middle game, that they got more chance to win this one, and then one mistake in yeah. a team fight. A very close game. They had the one big team fight spell, the currency that they. got plenty. They, they've got uh, Chase, they've got Run at You Heroes, and they've got Anti Mobility with Puck. I think this is like the scariest crap for, for Secret yeah. to look at. They need they need to be able to stop their opponents. 
something China does better than the rest. But here we go, fight at the top bounty room. Yeah, the bounty room is very important in 7.15. That's why everyone just gonna go for the bounty room. Now Doc might sacrifice his life for the bounty room as well. And that will be the first blood uh, fast once again. Dance if he wants to. Man, it's two minutes. I kind of missed the bounty rune, to be honest. Yeah. I, still, I, I still cannot adapt. I'm, I'm I saw still... Yapso running down. I was like, oh, he's going to grab bounty rune. No, no. He's, he's checking the top room, but there's a regen <laughs> bottom. I'm still missing, like, oh, um, wait now. Well, uh, Spirit Land comes out uh, along with an impaled. Uh, Yuna, chilling touch, all the stuff. It seems like the prime lane from Team C. The chilling touch, they're able to get the kill. Two and a half minutes. Keen Gaming, no chance, they bottom can't lane. do any more mistake. Oh wait, bottom lane. Sorry, I missed on that one. Okay. But who will finish off that far. It's right back right away for Team Keen Gaming. Yeah, the off lane is not having a fun time. As both Brew and Doom have died up top and now Timbersaw down bottom. Oh, and now that he's gonna get body blocked again for Dark. Get hero blocked, get blocked by the creep, but Dark still got through. Dark probably the magic one, so that can buy time just a little bit. Dark still hanging around, and he was slashed down by the PL. Yeah, Doom is still level one, so he can't even use his devour. Three minutes. Power. Now this lane is getting harder for Team King Gaming. Another Banco just to go in for the support. Uh, Boba became some uh, mana. It's just not enough damage to get rid of your pain. And why that Timbersaw? <laughs> Maybe it's playing super risky. He's just trying to bait down. Uh, now running out of HP is already top lane. What happened? Ace just finished off that duck. No. And that's how important these runes can be in the early game. Oh, right. Oh, but look at that. A team secret. Get her up three on the bottom lane. They are up to something. Diving inside. Team of Jane and the Whirling Dead comes up. Pop the arcane boots uh, to get some mana. And they get away from that. Hit by the Minpel. The support teleport damage it was just a little bit too late. But if he goes out, he might be the next one who goes down too. Now it's Inferno Blade to do some mini stun. Another comes in. Level six ready to drop the Dream Coin. When will he drop that? Uh, Fada running out of mana. So he can't not do that much spell. He still got React. Armor that's still active, but a team of chains of low half health, which is good enough for your first exorcism. Really Somebody bad news. Trapped in the middle, it's like uh, Doom is coming from behind. Uh, tower shooting on that mid one, he's level seven already. Let's take a look at his skill build. Uh, level three on Spirit Cypher in order to survive. Uh, where is Park? Park is at a bomb lane, dropping a dream coin on two. But KG, yeah. Because of the dream deal with two heroes, and he is now level six, getting closer to his level seven. And look at that! The first time smoke to the top lane. Uh, seems like Yuna is ready. A uh, thunderclap for the first time, dealing not that much damage on that ace. He get away with the double ganker. He, he's now net down. Uh, wait, but Doom is still level four, so he was unable to Doom at that ace. But it's just gonna be enough. Just hit him with the alpha roof like alpha male, and that's it. The uh, ace gone. Three small changes can impact the game. Yep, the Bane would not have even bothered maybe going for a tower deny if oh, not for the chain. about to get wrapped like a sandwich for Team Keen Gaming now. Get up first, Spirit Siphon die in the river because of the impale. A very nice assist about the yaps all. But if it's gonna be worth it, I think Secret need to find more kills. Now here we go because all Secrets are here. Real master level five is going in the middle and a thunder clap ready to drop the dream coin on three. That was a very good AOE spell by Team King Gaming. Team Secret, that's not thing much they can do, but to get away alive, uh, Spirit Siphon still keep that mid one alive for a while. He was sleep and stopped and about to get eliminated. A double kill for that KG Chai. They're not done yet. They want to go for more Ace. Does double old school like fighting items. Yep. All right, the game, uh, 11 minutes past. Now bottom lane about to get caught. Uh, it's gonna be a doom. Secret copy shooting in an ice blood and team up with his carry, Ace. Spamming the spirit lands and then charging in with a phantom rush. Yeah, Top lane, it seems like Keen Gaming needs to strike back first time using Fiend Grip and then fall up with a wolf. Diving in, uh, get the kill, get the tower, get the push. We'll see the first pri primal split as well. They might to draw, they might can draw something out. Uh, level 8 for the family build master, but everyone, every spell just go to the doom first. He died without using his ultimate, yeah. so I don't think... Now, not a massive gold leap by any means, but it's PL who hasn't even come online yet. Death Prophet has just been farming away. Fanta! Fiend Grip maybe! Side off with a Brain Sap! Where are you gonna go? Sleep first and then maybe follow up with a Fiend Grip. And here we go! A Grip and attack by that light can not gonna get away for sure. Yeah, He's maybe. about to team a chain away, but last hit landed hot. And this time around, you know, 
not the same problem as last time where they find a pick off and secret are pushing out the other two lanes. It's much better if you can find these kills with two heroes. If this gaps all once again, some, something gonna happen in middle shooting in the ice line or the zone team keen gaming out the rest of team secret try to flee back to the higher ground. It was mid one who was aimed and mid one who was doomed. Another kill on that AA right at the tier two tower. AA puppy walk through the middle and try to uh, flee through the P line three line. But Tuck comes in way before he can get to them, but with the blink dagger it gets a lot easier. And they find the puck though, he just on. He scouts them out here. On the high ground, he's ready to drop the bomb. Puck, nice dodge with a face here, but on that impale, drop the bomb on too. Dreamcore is already, Split Siphon already breaks out. And he still it decided, Puppy decided to break the Dreamcore link. And now they're aiming for the Bane. Bane might be the first one who goes down this team by Exorcism already activated. However, Keen Gaming got it back and they get rid of the Puppy. The race of Team Keen Gaming might have to fall back and hack the tier 2 tower mid one, pushing him with Exorcism and spamming Crypt Swarm. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Lycan got the chance to push the top tower, teleport back to the bottom lane and might start another fight. He is uh, being attacked by the Thunderclap and that very good banning Rift in order to silence that. Damn, this must be a very good team communication from the new team. Yeah, they're not done. They're looking for their next initiation. Jumping in with a thunderclap and just aim for that dead moment. First shooting in ice bar, everyone just dropping low. Blue Master, Primo split need to be used. Primo split, he raises his hand and he dies just like that. However, now, oh, somebody get denied. Uh, and the Phantom Lancer just finished off that Yuna real easy. It was, it was Baron Blue Master who was unable to land his ultimate uh, that caused the loss in his 514 King Gaming. Oh, they're not done though. They really want to kill this Pocky. That's just gonna go for the puck, puck dropping low, face chip just buy some time, waiting for his support to come, but Ura 4 of 4, support not foul right there. Again. Ching, sleeping pills already on that next scene, waiting for support, uh, here you go. Bane, Fiend Grip is ready, but it depends don't on me if he's gonna use it or not. If you don't want to use it, you might have to use it right now because they can get close to tier 2 tower. They're just gonna keep the ultimate and they get 2 kills quite easy for Team Keen Gaming. This is look good. Keen Gaming's hero of choice, but this time around it's Secret playing it. Trying to catch the middle. It's oh. inside. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you got the stairs right there. And in Secret A, it's a Phantom Lancer gone real quick. I don't think Secret can fight without the core heroes yeah. like that. They might have to retreat. Ace just making a bit of a mistake there, getting too aggressive. He saw the Bane and instead of running away, he fights. They want more. They're jumping in. They're wanting Rift and a Thunderclap. And Puppy stays in the tree line. Uh, not going to make him it's a wipe from that. And now they're just going to go for more. Dropping a Dream Coin and they're saying they're quite mad at Yapsaw. Yapsaw. Yapsaw is the one who interrupts them so many times in early Earth Game Team 5. But right now, man, right now, this is this is more like the game that they're they play against the EG. Let's go for the tower. Let's go. They might have to sacrifice himself, but at least we get some objective. Somebody teleport down, jumping in a Primal Split quite early. They're trying to lock down at Tipperson. Tipperson dropping quite low. No more tender, no more damage. Dealer, now they're going for the mid one. The last one, the mid one. He he's comes down and he's still surviving his sprint side, but no more mid one already, forcing mid one to buy back. No more tier three. Now, finally, they can spell retreat for Team KT, but, but that they was no a retreat. They're going they to go do in. It. They go in for more. Oh. He's uh, fall back to the high, uh, high ground, so back behind, uh, leaving his ward fighting in the front. Uh, I don't think Anchin Apparition is just going to get away from that Doom. Doom just leave Anchin Apparition. Next one's going to be Nicholson trying to go back in the middle lane, and they all fall down. Uh, they will force to buy back once again. To get his health talent he's Die. just melting in these fights they're gonna catch in the middle once again this guy comes in chai dropping a dream coin on one mid one is a target that now it seems like he's in trying to help his teammate by dropping a team pal but not gonna help a mid one the incinerated yep saw as well a double Max. If they can get this, the buybacks on Secret last fight mean they don't have many buybacks left and if somebody dies, the respawn time will be incredibly oh, long. Oh, lad! <laughs> Send in the Siberian Donkey! And that's it, it's it. Uh, once it uh, racks down, is the game gonna be yeah. the, with a small guy? What's Puppy doing? He's just... No, no, they, they, wow, that is the next level, my game <laughs> for the Puppy! <laughs> he was alone him. there! They hunted him down! He's joking! And, and he's joking! And he's just gonna get away? No, you're not gonna get away from that. <laughs> he even had a TP, he could've just TP'd home, but... You know, this might be the plan of Team Secret that draw attention from pushing middle. Puppy just gonna teleport away. Oh, they, good they, boy. Oh, yeah, they dropped the green points just for Puppy. He was... I don't yeah. even think they had vision of him, but they just knew that that was a very likely spot that he would TP. Wait! 
Seems like the Yap saw stuck in there too. He's trying to solo kill in that park. I don't think he will. Oh, Yield Scepter! He made a mistake on that one. Now it's gonna be Yap saw who died too. Fall off the puppy. Hits Buddy. And that's gonna be monster kill for the park. It's time to patch. Oh, the mana cost. Yeah, 120 yeah. mana cost at level 1 makes this a lot more valuable. Here we go. Teleport down for uh, that. Uh, let's see how they're going to defend for the first time against an Aegis on that Lycan. Lycan with a BKB and Necro Nobicon uh, cooldown is ready. Maybe sending in the, the Doggy and also the Necro Warriors aiming for that mid one. Got Lycan already for the path. Now come back for Inquis on that uh, Timber Saw. He's going to be the next one to follow up. Uh, Eel Scepter comes out and a Doom on is in. That is so powerful. Pushed by Team Keen Gaming. That's nothing uh, Team Secret can do. Oh my goodness! Exorcism already been used, but I don't think PL alone can stop that push. I think this bottom lane's gone as well. This game just looks over. This is so good. We were talking about who won in this series, and it's about to happen. Gods! Well, can Secret defend? The Necro Warriors have won out here. Okay, G got a kill on that puppy, and that should be it because Dark is attacking all them. No light and chain tip, no problem. They got enough damage. And they now, silence it. Yeah, a silence, banning rift, a double ganker still come out. Ace will go down, and then that should be it. Back, bot back to the game. Phantom Lancer is still trying to defend as much as he can. He got one kills already, even though they lost the bottom set of racks. But still, the game still goes on. Chakram whirling day to finish off that card, some dogs, and also the Necro Warrior. He's just gonna chase another. It's gonna be the mid one. But can he chase mid one? Mid one just buy some time by Eel Scepter on the Lycan. Yep, so goes down. Two Alpha Wu. This is so pain. Yeah, so much damage coming out. And they are gonna go high ground with this. The pipe giving them extra survivability. I, I don't think Seeker can defend this. No Still got an for 10 and a BKB ready to use. Uh, Let's see how PL going to do. You know, last, yesterday, Team Keen Gaming got away with PL against Team ED. That was the quickest PL ever seen in this tournament. Now, look at this one. That Team Assault got caught in a bean grip once again. Dropped yeah, a three point on two. It was Puppy. And a Phantom Lancer who's stuck in there. Ace uh, running out of mana already for Puppy. Once he touched the ground, he got to deal with the Thunderclap from that parent Brewmaster. Puppy about to go now, and it's a GG call coming out from Team Secret. We are going to game number three. Wow, what a crazy game. Keen Gaming showing up here on the Grand Finals day. They look so good. They're playing, they're just so... Vacuum set up. That's, that's it. Ice Blast is literally all it does. Yeah, uh, ice Blast. Chakram or the, 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 like uh, a Ice Blast Chakram, right? But, but there's no like big good. AoE disable. That yep. It's also easy with the illusions as well. Now, picking a PL in the most important game of the series. This is so do the same. Now in the middle, the side off with a static link, and Yuna just come out of nowhere with a splitter. That, that is 100% splitter. So, Ion Shell, but he's gonna be fine. Maybe that yeah. because of that tie on Chell, that's the reason why Team Gaming picked the Oracle in order to counter that tie on Chell and Fortune Zen coming out from the bush. Definitely in a good place as far as being pick worthy. Radiance Doom after Radiance Doom game, it has been the hero of the tournament, I would say. Doom Oracle. The, oh, another Fortune Zen. Doom diving inside. Uh, Infinite Blade. Uh, a mini stun comes out. They keep on right clicking, and this lane destroyed uh, by that Oracle. Oh, man. We'll see perhaps more. He's like, nah, I need the Radiance, man. Gotta, yeah. gotta get my farm. Yeah, get some bucks there. Very One. low armor hero, the Alchemist, so don't blame him for getting some kind of armor item. Now in the Bottom middle, lane. straight Siphon. Bottom lane, also some actions over there, and another kill for Team KT. Oh man, the Team Seeker, they seem to be powerless in yeah. this one. Yapsaw chasing at Yuna, he's on Ion Channel, he's ready to do for a void. Uh, Spit third, nice shot by Yapsaw, still doing damage uh, from that Ion Channel. Finally, he land a void. Uh, one hit away on Yuna, and that's the first hit of Team Secret. Yep. They know that Yuna and the another support, Jiang, is ready to gang them down. Uh, Yapsaw being double teamed by Jiang and Yuna, shooting the Fortune Send, and maybe Maybe follow up with a split turn and lightning storm. Dark is ready for the infernal blade. Didn't even have to do that, but he just got Doom is TPing top with his ultimate. Oh my. 
I don't think Timbersaw is ready for this. He just used the mangoes in the trees and he's in the a doom is here. A doom on a Timbersaw and also the spirit lands are all the spells on a Timbersaw. All he can do is just walking away, getting slammed down by Inferno Blade and he's also spamming spirit lands. Oh my. Coach, the offlaner, he's everything of the team at the moment. Sounds like we need to just clone Dark. We need five Darks yeah, on the team. Yeah, need five Dark indeed. Uh, dropping a spit turn and also, oh my goodness, Puppy destroyed uh, in the mid lane with the dead prop. That they can take this bottom tier one tower or at least get some more damage out. Mid one's gonna bottle up a double damage rune and needs to be careful here. Fortune sent once again, charging and then follow up with the KT Chai. Chai comes in, split earth from the lower ground and also the team up with the damage of Spirit Siphon. Maybe a Crypt Swarm would be great, didn't even have to use it. One eighth already, going for more. Yapso trying to hunt the mid tier one oh, tower. Yuna. Split earth just gonna hit him from long, long range. That was split earth from downtown. Yapso down and that's a double kill for Chai. Oh my, every little play there. They purge off the cold feet with the fortunes and Yuna chases. He's got 100 oh health my. and he just goes chasing for a top lane. Lane About to get oh, crushed once team. again. It's Timasaur, Doom and Infinal Blade to finish him off in style. Oh, oh no, no, he's healing. Ooh. How did okay. he survive that one? Ace, 20 reactive charges with the Hood of Defiance. And uh, with the um, fortunes and all of the map. Yeah, the third spell does such a high amount of damage that they're able to just go chasing for these kills. Now he also used the Fate Edict and also Purifying Flame in the bottle and also some casual chain mail. So, fashion. Now he just top lane, dark, pushing the creep waves in. Creep waves are about to hit the tower that is quite full HP, 1.6k. They, they're just using their hero so well. The PL plays by himself in the bottom lane and the rest of the team keep playing around the mid lane, particularly that they want this team one tower. Next exorcism. They're almost certainly going to try and finish off the tier it's one. About if not to get sooner. caught, I believe. And now the Fnatic Fortune Zen comes in. Team up with a split turn. All the spells, split side on everything on that team is all trying to call back. Uh, hey man, help me! But I don't think Yapsaw would help him. All he do is just, he just need to run back because that is too strong yeah. for Team Keen Gaming. They're diving in in the mid tier one tower. They don't even need the exorcism now. Bottom lane, mid one. He's getting surrounded. They're all coming to gank him. Oh. He's got no TP. Oh, now Team Team. No TP indeed, and he's just going through the tree line, being surrounded by the illusions that the PL army is killing him off. Two thirteens already. I have just been the most aggressive played supports I've seen all tournament long. Hey, hey bro, I think might be some big team fight here. They go for Oracle first, they know who to deal with first, and they gotta kill Oracle. He's a playmaker behind, and but that's all down because of the Exorcist system and also Crip Storm. Uh, Doubling all Edict also doing yeah. some decent damage though. So maybe they then just trying to take down the mid tier one tower or just doing deal some damage. Lane tower, this is not good. Uh, now KT in a small area seeking for some kills. Uh, it's shy, they just gonna see mid one on the lower ground. Uh, Plays another observer wars going straight for the mid one, trying to catch him. Fortune sends already. Meanwhile, Dark just finished off the secret edge in the forest near the middle lane. They are understanding that the alchemist will come online if he gets enough room, and King Gaming are just playing incredibly aggressive. Puffy has no escape, caught outside the base. Get off the ice class. And she and the patient got caught. Double ganker to split him all off and just spent on run in to kill that puppy. Now it's time for the mid tier to tower. Oh, that probably needs because every time whoever's stuck in a fortune's end, it's like your fortune's end. Mid one. He's got the ultimate off. He's doomed still though. They're gonna try chase him down. A doom and also the infernal blade. Uh, shooting the ice blast trying to help mid one. It's just not gonna help that much. It seems like they, they are playing. Oh, wait, the vacuum bag. They might get something out of this team fight. They got Yuna. They might get that Tiang too. Tiang. Team up with the, um, that Chai. Just gonna go for that puppy. Fortune said to end him. And unstoppable is already for Chai. Wow. 15 kills to four. Don't think much when, when you see someone, you only have three seconds to think. Uh, if longer than that, you are not gonna go in because you think too much now. They see the alchemist, they got three seconds and they just go in. And Alchemist died once again. That is actually fifth time already in around 15 minutes that Alchemist Yuna goes down. wants to kill bottom ace. Needs to be careful. And here we go, diving in with a team of chains in. Now, a little bit too deep for that ace. He get you scepter inside and a chart round. Maybe a split turn would finish him off. He's running out of mana and trying to get far, as far as he can. Before he teleported away, he was stuck in a split turn and now he's dead. And meanwhile, in the middle, Phantom Lancer get with... Lost all your towers, so 
when you're an alchemist, when you get your radiance, you need to have your your side of the map free to farm so you can farm the jungle, farm the stacks, use your Greedle's Greed. That oh just not be possible. Oh my goodness, gonna dive inside. Puppy died once again, and next one is going to be that alchemist. I don't think he stands a chance in front of that PL with a Dimsel Blade. Nope, Alchemist running out of mana, sorry, he's still got a, a HP regen though. Still charging in for PL, kill sweet and get for PL, and just gonna crush down that mid one, one by one. No retreat, go in only. And here we go, PL, the Dark, a little bit too over aggressive, he have to fall back, the tower shooting on the hey, PL illusions, we got some heals from that Oracle with the Fate Edict and also the um, Purifying Flame, he's gonna be fine. Now they're just gonna keep going, 4 to 23. To not have died there. They're still chasing him. They oh, the Fortune echo. Sand from long, long range. And Ill Scepter to set all things up. Not a Fortune Sand. It's actually the um, run of Aethos. I'm sorry. However, mid one goes down for the sixth time in this game. Maybe it's Sand. Wow, wow, This wow. guy is a Fortune Teller. Now he's just gonna go inside. A Doom and a Timbersaw. And also locked down with a run of Aethos. And dropping a split turret. And easy killed and... Force the buyback out of that Timbersaw. The tower about to go down. Exorcism works real well, and also the attack speed of that Phantom Lancer going first straight for the Neely Rack. Crack room back into the wall. That wall got buffed though. Can they defend with the wall? They but only got they, one illusion. I don't think they can stop the ghost though. No. Now, oh man. There's no PL illusion. They really need the PL. Yeah, Illusions is gonna tank all the damage. Uh, illusions, yeah, they, they, they dropped into the wall in order to create the DL Illusion, yeah. but I, now I don't know who is who in this war. <laughs> Without, oh a, without Darkseid catching the PL, it's very difficult, and the Exorcism wearing off, but they still want this melee barracks. This war is even messed up, that Infinity War right there. Now let's go for that Doom. Doom, uh, Infinite Blade, oh, he did what he could, a split turn on two, actually gives the essence right away. He's Come on, Robins, uh, oh. but no, not gonna get away. PL down, uh, Team Secret still managed to defend the middle racks, and now they're just gonna charge out. Uh, it's time for Secret to strike back, but he blow himself to get into the tree line. Doesn't even cost that much. This early in the game, that's only 800 gold. It doesn't even cripple him to use a buyback. You only know just to put in and just keep on fighting and fighting until the end. This, I told you that this Chinese team actually have like a very unique style oh, play. PL. Unlike Careful. other uh, Chinese team, uh, PL, they're taking a lot of damage and he's he gonna be healed because of the fate edict and also the pro promise. Uh, Yapsaw down for the first one. Secret down to four, but he bought back right away. Yapsaw, team us off. Your plan has to be stop them getting Roshan. If you can stop Roshan and kill the PL, I say that Yep, oh so. no, uh -oh. they got caught once again, ramming into a train of Team Keen Gaming. Me again, behind enemy lines on this ancient apparition. And it's just gonna charge inside. Hurrah! That mid one got caught once again by the PL who carry an AJ so That's gonna be another kill for two or four Romans. Every spell in order to save the PL. That shooting a nice blood. Such a big, big early game at once. Yeah, they've got double BKB and Sanj on the courier. Now look at that. The teleport down to the try. It's gonna be 4v2 game score. Nope, not. I mean 4v2 players of Team Secret. Now going straight to that Alchemist. He's just gonna buy from town with his fall from risk and waiting until his teammates arrive. Oh, the he didn't have the BKB. Set up on the Black King Bob, the Doom. He's gonna be fine. And a Doom on that Alchemist. Where is the Phantom Lancer? The boss is right here. Keep on slashing. The big army of Phantom Lancer is here. Double ganker to split them all off. And just going for that Alchemist. Alchemist still on the Doom effect. And it's however by Thorn. Alchemist uh, trying to drag that Phantom Lancer into the wall replica. But it seems like he's not gonna buy that. Uh, Unserved streak. And that this might be a little bit comeback from Team Secret. But yeah, it's still. Still have to deal with that Phantom Lancer. Now running out mana authority for the dance. Get ready for Dimso Blade slow. Fortune Sand comes in. No, I don't think Timbersaw is gonna get out of there. Killing spree ended by Phantom Lancer. Still will let you heal. We're gonna now kill this Death Prophet who unfortunately did not have BKB. But gosh, the next problem is right now King Gaming is not gonna stop pushing when Secret will need some time to farm for that Alchemist. Keen knows about that and they're just gonna keep charging in, throwing in the split land first. They're already on the high ground. A sign is on that Phantom Lancer and then drop a split turn going straight for that Alchemist. Alchemist turn on his ultimate. Some HP regen, double ganker is gonna keep him alive for a while. But he's still gonna take damage from the Chakra. Gonna come back full HP, full mana. Walking back just a little bit on the BKB. What a great CD we have right here. It seems like Keen Gaming is just gonna take a breath a bit. Walking back to the high ground and wait for the next wave. Yeah, Secret are defending very, very well. King Gaming for that Phantom Lancer, it's just like, you know, you, you know that he is exist, but you can't touch him. 
He's just like the internet. And now he's just gonna go for the tower. Only few hits away. One hit now, then goes the tower. And maybe a start a team fight right here. Phantom Lancer comes in. Here we go to start attacking on that alchemy. He's running out of mana. He's already shooting in the ice lot. And vacuum, but no wall. No wall. But that was a great vacuum. But just, it's just unlucky. The secret heal. doesn't have any the damage to follow up. Seems like that Chai just gonna go back, uh, pop the Black King bar and turn on the EU Scepter on someone in order to oh, stop the now. Uh, now he's healed, but that Oracle with the Fate Edict and also the Purian Flying Flame now comes in with the Phantom Lancer dropping Spitter, not gonna hit anyone. However, it's time to breathe for both sides. I think King Gaming there. Now here we go, he's just gonna go straight in. Uh, they can only spell T.O. Oh, nice use nice Scepter in order to draw that unstable concoction. Are you guys ready for the big team fight right here? If Secret loses team fight, they're probably gonna lose another set of racks. Pop the Black King bar getting ready for all the spell to get rid of the puppy first. Now down to 24. Team Secret still trying to fight. They're sending in a charge run. Now chasing on that. Oh, a silent on that Phantom Lancer. He still doesn't have a heart to run. They still got a chance to kill him. A save coming out. Four promise to save that one. And he's gonna get the heal as well. Let's go back to the team fight right here. Quite chaos there. Split Third, that's gonna hit uh, Fata in deep trouble in the middle of Team King Gaming, and now he goes down. The chase on that alchemy is successful on that King Gaming, shooting the ice blast in. Whoever can buy back, you have to buy it now. And that's gonna be another split third to kill the Timasaur. Everyone, oh, both teams see each other. Turn on now. Here comes the night time. It's time for the party. Let's go, Puppy in front line. He needs to be careful. Okay. Stuns himself. Yep, he just needs to come back and Jai using the uh, G-Wall Sky and now he's just gonna catch out that alchemy is running out of mana so he's sent out the wall and every uh, goddamn spell in a small area shooting in the ice blast as well, the shot crumb, everything but still looking pretty healthy for Team um, Keen just gonna go for this one, uh, Phantom Lancer they still cannot find the real Phantom Big Lancer a ball from is uh, being used on the Phantom Lancer as well he was all running out of mana because of a lot of mana burn from that team so blade he truly be the next one to go down with a double kill of that Mebius. No man. Next one is going to be bottom set of rack without a bottom tier three tower. They fought Yapsor as well and he's dead. So this may just be the second lane. Buybacks are gonna go streaming through. They saw them out with the illusions of that PL. 11 to 41 game score. Unbelievable performance coming out from that Keen Gaming. They are about to get another set of racks and forcing Team Secret to call a GD, but still no sign of that one yet. Yeah, they have to get this last lane. Secret. This might be the last hand of Team Secret. If they can win this one, they truly sealed. The, I mean, they, they still hang on in the game, but nice if blast. they lose, uh, I'm pretty sure the Keen is going to seal the deal. Bob the Black King Bar, Inferno Blade, or that Alchemist already. If they can get rid of Alchemist first, oh, nice, uh, using Manta style to draw the fortune set. But Alchemist doesn't look healthy anyway. But they, yep, they got the support first, split third, uh, no more, because no more electric heart going straight for the Alchemist. Alchemist, did he, he had a buyback? No buyback, indeed. Uh, 53 second cooldown and his teammate already also being surrounded by PL illusions to back to back but no wall. Fata goes down for the next one. Next one is going to be definitely Timbersaw by that eight. Eight gone and now it's time to push. No this to might Alpha be the go in the end and he's just gonna go in for the top lane of Barak. That is the last fortress of Team Secret. About to get the Mega Creeps already. Not a big upset in this tournament about to happen. Now that there goes the Mega Creep, Team King Gaming going straight to the tier 4 tower, shooting the Spirit Land first. Secret trying so high in order to stay alive in this one, but they seem to have problem with the EPL illusions, dealing a lot of damage, yeah. and the most important thing, burning mana. Yeah, that will. Okay, HP. They started to fight with open the G1 Scar and just go straight for the mid tier 3 tower. Uh, pro I'm sorry, tier 4 tower. Back to back into the wall. That might be the last wall. They have to defend on this one. Sending in the ice bar, but everyone just follow the Black King bar, so they all are safe from the medical damage. And that's gonna be Puppy. Puppy, first one goes down. 4 5 already. Seems to be very hard to defend right now for Team Secret. Everyone can buy back. They have to buy it now. Go straight for the tower. Switch in order to stop them from coming out from the file 10. Go Straight for that day. Oh man, Alchemy is dying at 70 seconds without a buyback. It's time to call GG for Team Secret. King Gaming get through the grand finals of TSC Thailand Bangkok Minor. What a performance from Gaming. You know, they show yesterday was 
was not the end of King Gaming. They are